You've heard of a salad bar, a pasta bar, but how about a mac and cheese bar? That's what we're making in the Cook's Corner Kitchen today. I'm here with Candace Carew from Cabot, and your title you were telling me is favorite foodie. Favorite foodie, and yes. I know you work up a lot of kind of recipes that you put I on do. the website. I do. We have many recipes at CabotCheese.coa. Okay, great. So yes. how do you start off here? Do you have some milk in there? Or this what? is so easy to do. This is um, pasta. This is milk that is just coming to a simmer. Okay. We're going to take two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water as a thickener. Just equal parts. Equal parts. We're going to mix that up and get it into the milk. All right. And just give that a stir until it thickens a bit. And I know Cabot has so many different cheeses, but what kind of cheese are you using for this recipe? Well, I vary it all the time. I'm using seriously sharp for this, but I love it with horseradish, or if you want a south of the border taste, jalapeno. So if you want to stir that, sure. I'm going to strain okay. the pasta. Sure and that. you have um, all these kinds of veggies. These we fresh have, veggies right now. So this can be fun with the kids if you want to kind of mix it up for a mac and a cheese night. It's a great way for kids to get their veggies uh -huh. um, because a lot of kids love mac and cheese. And it's, a, it's spring and we're all ready for these fresh tastes. I have artichokes and let me turn this off so we don't burn the place down. Artichokes, tomatoes, broccoli, mm -hmm. peas. It's a, just a wonderful way to have some delicious veggies. All right, does the cheese go in? The cheese will go in as soon as we get the milk in. So if you want to pour the milk. Pour the milk over the pasta. Over the pasta. Gotcha. Yep. We'll All right. right and so you do here. offer also crunchies. You have crunchies for the top, too. The toppings are fun, yeah. too. So we've crushed up fun things like goldfish mm -hmm. and pretzels here, if you want All to right. stir. Sure. I will slowly add the cheese as we go okay. to incorporate it. So that gets mixed up like that. It is. This is about 12 ounces of cheese, and you can buy it shredded, or you can buy it in the blocks and grate it yourself. And as you say, you can use a different flavored cheese and kind of it really make a is fun. And Cabot makes a wonderful reduced fat. So if you want to save on calories and fat, mm -hmm. you can do that. But we're known as the world's best cheddar, and this mac and cheese will be proof that that's true. Brought to you by our 1,200 farm family owners. We're small dairy farm cooperatives. All right, and Candace, give us the website again that you have all the recipes. Habitcheese.coop. Since we're a cooperative, we have the .coop. Gotcha. I'm going to throw a little Dijon mustard in there. And that gives it a kick. And we're almost ready uh -huh. to go. And I love pepper. I'm going to put some ground pepper. All right. And then once you have this all made, you can stir in whatever you like you when can, it comes to the you veggies. You can leftover chicken. Mm -hmm. I put. I made mac and cheese with my leftover Easter ham. That's there you a go. yummy. I know. And Bacon. Some crunchies on top, and you're all set. Exactly. Candace, thanks so much for out of time, but this looks delicious, and this smells delicious as well. Wonderful. Kids are definitely going to love it. Thank you. We'll be right back.